Well, God bless you. This is Thursday, and we are excited. God is good. It's hot outside. Uh, one of the air conditioners at the church just went down, and, you know, we ought to be depressed. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus, and, you know, everything ain't going to be all right. And so, you know, I'm just here to tell you, whatever you're going through, there is a end to it, okay? And there is a, there, you know, there's a promise in it. And so, uh, you know, sometimes, well, my car, it broke down, or my refrigerator broke down. Or, you know, I got this vet bill. Uh, you know, there's always going to be something. But that doesn't mean that we get depressed. What it means is that we learn to get on higher ground and we learn to give praise and worship to our, our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I was thinking today about how that so many uh, today are contemplating suicide and and how many are you know, trying to get rid of their problems using uh, alcohol or fentanyl. Uh, they're using all these drugs that are out there, you know. And and the thing of it is, all it's doing is, is deadening the senses so that you can't really feel reality. We need to feel reality. Uh, we need to feel pain. You know, uh, what happens is when we begin to look at our pain, we begin to look at what it is that is hurting us. Then we understand that, listen, maybe we're doing something we shouldn't be doing and we need to stop it, you know, because our body is uh, not used to it. And so, you know, uh, I think with this right here, what we need to do is we need to understand what it is that God has for us. And then we need to uh, realize that through all of this right here, that his purpose for every situation is to draw us closer to him. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. It is your rod and your staff that comforts me. You know, uh, so when we look at this right here, we understand that, you know, I have to look deep into the situation. I have to ask myself, is this a time to go or a time to grow? And many times it's a time to grow. And, uh, you know, uh, our faith gets deepened, our faith gets stronger when we begin to trust what God is doing. I can't imagine being Job. I can't imagine being, you know, Moses. I can't imagine being Daniel in the lion's den, the Hebrew boys in the fire. I can't even begin to imagine the disciples in the early church and what they went through and ask myself, would I go, would I go or would I grow? If I go, that means I run away from it. I don't learn from it. It means I stop going to church. It means I stop congregating with God's people. It means I become bitter, not better. It means that in all this right here, that now I am not listening to sound advice. So be like that tree, David said. I'm like a tree planted by the, the, the waters, and I, my roots are spreading out. My leaves are green, even in the time of drought. And he goes on and he says, listen, life is what God gives us. And so I just want to encourage you, get up, stand up, brush yourself off and say, you know what? I'm growing spiritually, physically, emotionally, and socially, and God is for me, not against me. So this battle has an end to it. This depression has an end to it. This sickness has an end to it. And so remember there's always going to be light. Maybe not at the end, maybe not light at the end of the tunnel, but there's always going to be light at the end of our journey. And that is the light of hope found in Jesus Christ. All right. God bless you. Love you. Go out there. Spread the good news. If you're in Colleen, we're at 3310 Florence Road uh, here in Colleen. We'd love to have you come by and visit with us and just experience Hey, just experience a mighty move of God. Who knows? Might be the day for your healing. All right, God bless you. We love you.